Pikachu is, of course, the Pokemon mascot. If you somehow didn't know that, can I join you under that rock? But there are also quite a few other Pokemon that try to be a sort of mascot, too. Eevee's absolutely the biggest one, being put alongside Pikachu in most cases. Like, there's, of course, an entire game, but there's even stuff like Project Eevee, which Pikachu doesn't have. And if there's any deeper meaning to that, we'll have to wait and see. Poliwhirl is weirdly prominent early on, showing up in promos and merchandise, and even being Red Starter in Adventures. Now, why was it so popular? Because it was Satoshi Tajiri's favorite. I mean, you would do the same thing, right? Lucario had quite a bit of a push even before Gen 4 was out. In Mystery Dungeon, he was a mysterious legendary rescue leader and he even got a full movie to introduce him. They tried to do something like that with Zoroark but only one of them ended up getting a mega form so. Bidoof's had quite a bit of a push lately probably because of the memes with an entire animation about the joke of it being an HM slave and even an appearance in this promo art even though it's not even in Gen 9. They must be too scared of his power. Clefairy was at least planned to be a lot more popular than it is. It wasn't exactly supposed to be the mascot but at first Ash was supposed to have it instead of Pikachu and there was even the possibility of a cancelled Pokemon pink version. Oh what could have been and how could we forget 